Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about child trafficking and we've been joined by Deputy Director of Cradle, Brian Weke. Now, I want to start by saying, yay! 30 years for trafficking a child. Absolutely. This is such a crime that women, women don't really or think about. 30 million. 30 million shillings. Shillings, fine. Ooh. That is so <laughs> Basically, difficult to you fathom. and the apartment you live in mm -hmm. for bringing this child into Nairobi and hiring her under false pretenses and maybe not even paying her market value because... I, I, I have a question here. You know, we have, you know, certain historical or traditional ways of, hand, of dealing with children where children are assumed to be uh, uh, um, um, assisting in working and labor and therefore children are sent to the city, children are sent to the country at a, at a, at a young age and are used for labor. They're used for domestic labor, etc. Are you going to create a, 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 um, an education program to let people know that this is not only illegal, but you will go to jail? Uh, of course, uh, like currently in uh, at the Chama, where mm. we are right yes. now, I think we it's one of the ways where we are creating awareness. Mm -hmm. It is important to actually not, and uh, really, we need to go out of our way to, to raise awareness in mm -hmm. relation to issues to do with uh, child trafficking. Now, uh, really, it's very simple. What we're saying is that uh, is a, as a woman, if you have 30 million uh, to pay as fine, then you can as well just go and take a child and, and, and uh, use them for purposes of uh, child labor. Uh, I don't know whether you have 30 million or you'd go in for 30 years. How old are you? You'll be out. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, really, I think we need to, and, and this should be done both by the civil society organizations okay. uh, and the government. And, and also the media. You mm. have to help us to actually disseminate this information. We'd be happy it to. Is, it is one of the most serious offenses currently in this country. I think it's highly immoral to take a young girl, um, even with my housekeeper's daughter, the woman where she was working in Thika while they were sorting out her passport so they could move this girl to Uganda, um, when her mother turned up, she said, oh, I didn't know. She told me she had done KCPE. And uh, I'm like, what does KCP have to do with anything? It's not adulthood. You need an ID before you hire somebody. They need to show you their national ID card, which means they're 18. So even that woman, her defense to me was ludicrous. That was just an excuse. Mm. Let's just be clear. I think let's just be very clear that for purposes of children in this country, mm -hmm. anybody under the age of 18 is actually a child. What also struck me with my housekeeper is that it's the girl's friend, a former classmate who was used to lure her into you know, this, or oh, you will get you a job, you'll be a housekeeper, and then you'll be moved to Uganda. How many of these cases do you see? Is this a common occurrence? Uh, you see, if you look at cases to do with the trafficking, mm. mainly, even though, if you look at the means, we look at issues to do with uh, uh, coercion, issues to do with the force, issues to do with uh, false promises, issues to do with the deception, Mm. But in many instances, you find that there's a lot of deception. So they use somebody who's closer to you, as opposed to a stranger who you do not know. So in many instances, you find the person who was recruited is somebody, maybe a close friend, a close relative, mm. a close neighbor. So somebody who has access, uh, somebody who the child would trust. So ma in many instances, it's basically deception. And uh, okay. there's, there's no use of force. So what can parents do? Uh, one, of course, uh, we have to literally stop this culture of thinking that uh, the grass is greener on the other side. Because I think at some point we really ask ourselves how green is green. Um, that is one. But two, again, um, you have to start proper discussion with your children. You have to talk to them about trafficking. You have to talk to them uh, issues to do with, uh, you know many instances, does your child know your name, Valentine? Do they say mommy or daddy? Or what's do they mommy's know? name? Mommy! Yes, what's <laughs> mommy's name? Mommy. So you need Where do you live first in and house? foremost, <laughs> when a child is around five, they should be able to know what your names are, other than you just being mommy. They should know what is your number. They should know uh, the estate where they live. Because uh, you find sometimes uh, the child has been trafficked and uh, 
really, if you try and source for information, what are you, who's your mother, who's your father, where do you stay, what's the number of your parents, it's quite difficult because uh, you teach your child to call you mommy mm -hmm. or daddy. Yeah. So they feel actually ashamed calling you Valentine. Yes. So it is important. And it's a respect issue. Even. It is a respect sort of thing. But it is important for them to understand, that yes, you're mommy, but you also have a name. Okay. Yes. Do okay. we do we do we frighten our children into this? Like let them know at a young age that because we quite often our children are brought up to respect elders. Don't Absolutely. say no to this person, don't say no to that. And then it's a bit complex knowing that there are predators and people out there that want to take advantage of your children. So how do we then tell them not to trust and 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 not to go along with what adults say when at the same time we're saying don't say no to adults? How about let's be rude? Okay, sorry. Answer the question. <laughs> no, I think uh, what is wrong in our current society mm -hmm. is that parents have actually abdicated their responsibilities. We honestly think that uh, by the mere fact that we're looking for food for our children, by the mere fact that we're providing for school fees, by the mere fact that we are paying rent, we're buying clothing for our children, that in itself is parenthood. I think what is important is that people need to know that parenthood goes beyond those material things. Physical, material things. And it is important to have a proper relationship with your child where you teach them the right touch and the wrong touch. Mm. You teach them that um, a stranger is a stranger and they have to be treated as such. You have to teach them that if anyone does something that they do not like, then they have to report to you. You have to teach them that there are boundaries. And when these boundaries are broken, then they need it to report to you. So these are things that you have to inculcate in your child. But that can only happen when there's a proper relationship uh, with your child. Okay. So that even okay. though you're the mother, uh, really, you can also have a proper discussion. Okay, mm. okay. So have the uncomfortable conversations with your children. Um, unfortunately, I wish we had more time with Ryan. Um, we have to wrap up. And Grace and Kamala are about to join us.